Coach Dane Fife, IPFW men's basketball coach. Season's right around the corner. Brings a big smile to your face. <laughs> no, your announcement gave you a big smile. That's for all the people watching on the Internet, so in case they don't know who you are. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, I think it's just an exciting time of year. Uh, our guys are working very hard, harder than we've worked. Uh, I'm really pleased with uh, our approach. And, you know, I was just talking to some folks uh, who've, who've just arrived, and you need some luck, Ross, and I think that's something that uh, we have to have, but uh, we can do a lot of things to help us win basketball games without having to rely on luck, and those are the things we're working on uh, right now. We've got two weeks before the first game, so, you know, it's, it's just about building our defense, building our confidence. Yeah, I was talking with Ben, and you guys, you know, it was a historical year last year because you had a winning record, but he said there were still a few wins left out on the court that you guys really could have done even better. Well, that's a common theme that our guys like to talk about is we, we should have been better last year. Uh, and I think most of that had to do with attitude, Ross. We had, a, we had a, uh, quite a few attitude problems, nothing major, but just things that were a distraction. I think all coaches talk about having distractions on our team, and that's one common theme we've talked about is no distractions this year. Let's have everybody with both feet in competing as hard as they can every day. Yeah, obviously one of those distractions, Antoine Sneed, no longer with the team. <laughs> How do you replace that big man? Well, Antoine would have been a starter for us, hands down, provided he wasn't a distraction. We also lost Delvez Yerby and Nick Daniels to graduation, and, and with those three, we lost a lot of athleticism. So, uh, and I don't think we replaced it with athleticism. I think uh, hopefully we replaced it with basketball IQ and uh, you know overall ability to compete. And I think the other thing is our our. Um, our sophomores, juniors need to step up. That's one thing we have to rely on. Because anytime you lose a guy like Delvis, you be Nick Daniels. Uh, they're hard shoes to fill. And of course, you see the, the preseason rankings just like we do. Does that become motivation now? Absolutely. We have to use it as motivation. We've been we've been picked sixth, seventh, eighth every year, and we finished fifth every year, uh, which is good and bad. We you know we've always, as you said, left uh, some wins on the table, and we felt like we should have been higher. Hopefully, this is the year. Is it, do, do you take a step back, though, and look at it that you have improved every single year, even if it might not be up to the standards you were hoping? We do. I think that's important uh, to understand that we have improved. And as long as we have improvement, um, you know, our team can, can go into the year with confidence, go into the following year with confidence, knowing that uh, we've, we've shown we can get better. Now let's continue to do so and make a run at winning the league title. What's going to fuel this Mastodon team? You've got a pretty good backcourt. We do. We've got two seniors in, in Plaquemire and, and uh, Botts who have been great players in our program. Trey McCorkle, uh, it's, it's only a matter of time before he's all league. Now, unfortunately, he's behind the player of the year last year uh, who's returned. Uh, we've got John Peck and Paul healthy. Uh, we've got Brandon Gaines who was, was uh, a little inconsistent last year, but very pleased with Brandon's um, approach and work ethic this year. And then Jeremy Mixon, who was also pretty inconsistent, but has a chance to be a very, very big contributor for us. Then we've got a bunch of newcomers in uh, Jason Smithers, um, Antoine Boyd, Terrence Williams, and Mike Kivalowski, to name a few. And obviously one of the hurdles you guys have is where you play the games. What would you say to anybody who might watch this? to come out and fill the seats because it's always better to play in front of a big crowd. Well, the Coliseum is one of the best venues in the country for a, for a small market like Fort Wayne, a minor league market like Fort Wayne. Um, it, it, it provides people a great opportunity to come and have great seats for a Division One basketball game. And it's their hometown team. I think that's that's the biggest key is, is we are what Fort Wayne's about. Just like the Comets, just like St. Francis football and basketball, we are what Fort Wayne's about. We're another team uh, that gives people an opportunity uh, to come and watch, uh, compete at a high level. And I think what separates us is we are Division One basketball. We're trying to compete with the Dukes in North Carolina for that trophy.